Hello everyone, uh, this is Dofi with you. Uh, I am uh, just sharing some uh, uh, settings from OBS uh, for anyone who's interested in streaming in ultra wide screen. Uh, and uh, this is not actually scaling it down to 1920 by 1080. I'm actually streaming the entire screen uh, as is. Uh, uh, not really as is because I'm scaling it down a little bit, but it's the same aspect ratio. So um, the the reason why I wanted to do this because I got the uh, new CPU, which is the 3900X, uh, and I have the 2080 Ti, and I wanted to do the encoding on the CPU. And that's the purpose of me getting that CPU anyways. Uh, so uh, when I first got it, I had a lot of issues with it. it it actually was struggling a lot to uh, encode. Uh, my streams looked choppy. My even gameplay when I'm playing, it was awful. So uh, I tweaked a lot of things. I watched a lot of videos about 3900X and kind of what the difference uh, between the encodings and stuff. So this is uh, what worked for me um, with my settings that I'm gonna go over everything again. Uh, uh, my uh, screen resolution is, um, as you can see, it's uh, 3440 by 1440. Uh, and um, what I'm doing is I'm scaling it down to 2580 by 1080. Uh, and that's the same aspect ratio, but it's easier for the CPU to uh, uh, encode and also smaller size to send over the, the internet. And uh, that is because, uh, I mean, you can keep it the same resolution, but then if you are doing it with 1440p, the ultra wide screen, and you don't have enough uh, uh, bit rates, uh, then you, um, uh, you're you just gonna see blocks and stuff like that as you're uh, moving around because it's just not enough bandwidth to actually transfer that information. That's from my understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, first thing is uh, I scaled it down to 1080, uh, which is still ultra wide. I uh, use the uh, downscale filter, the 32 sample, because apparently if you are scaling down, you do something else, uh, it will blur. Basically, the lower, the, the less quality, I guess. Uh, so I was able to put it on 32. And uh, FPS, my monitor is 100 uh, FPS. Uh, so uh, I, what I did is I went half of that because 60, I actually had some issues as well. Uh, so uh, it, it just, it was not, uh, I'm, I was trying, I guess, to balance uh, quality or uh, performance with the quality. And 48 seems like the one that actually looked good on stream, did not look choppy, but also uh, did not lose too much quality because if you put it at 60, then it will struggle a little bit. So uh, for the video, this is the section. And by the way, everything that's happening on this page is actually on the video card from my understanding. So scaling down here, the video card does it. Now, the other part uh, that you would do is go to the output. This is where you would select the software encoder. This is the part that just encodes the results from the other page and then sends it over the internet. And uh, these are the settings that works for me. So I don't scale anything here. I don't use the CPU to scale. Um, and I uh, also kept it on CBR. I don't actually know the difference between them. To be honest, but what I under uh, what I understood is the bit rate is the part that matters the most when you are, let's say you uh, you're not moving the camera at all, you're staring at a wall, or for example, and your bit rates are very low, it would actually look really good. The minute you start moving, uh, if there isn't enough bit rate, blocks would start being blurry because it's just not enough. Uh, I guess better right, to carry that information from all those pixels that are changing. Uh, for me, it seems like 8000 is actually the um, the most uh, efficient, and it's the one that um, uh, is because I, I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. Uh, Twitch is a throttleneck here, or 
bottleneck, throttleneck, uh, bottleneck. So uh, it actually, uh, for the longest time, uh, I've been reading online that the highest bit rate that you can do on Twitch is 6,000. That's for 1080p, for 1920 by 1080p. But then, uh, as I'm looking, actually, I'm going to uh, turn on the uh, NVIDIA overlay here, which has a broadcast uh, live. And if you go to the settings, it lets you do on Twitch. And as you can see, it gives you the option to actually go up to 9,000. So I just assumed that 9,000 is acceptable for Twitch, and it worked for me. Uh, so what I did, I didn't do 9,000, of course. I did 8,000. Mixer and YouTube can do way higher. Mixer can do up to 10,000. That's from their website. Uh, YouTube can do up to 18,000. And I also found that here. So if you go to broadcast, settings, to YouTube, there's 18 here. So you can actually go up to that. Um, so 8,000 seems to work for Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Then... Um, uh, Twitch requires uh, this value to be 2. Uh, then the next part is depending solely on your CPU, how capable it is. Um, for me, it seemed like I could do it on slow, but it's a little glitchy. Medium, it seems perfect. Um, every huge once in a while in the video, I notice uh, like stutter a little bit in the, uh, in the output. Um, but that's only when I actually watched it on a big TV. Like if I'm watching it on my phone or on my computer, I don't notice it. Uh, if you put it on like a 65 inch uh, TV, uh, you would start noticing the little things. Uh, so that seems to work for me. Profile, I put it on high tone, uh, tune, actually uh, tone, tone, whatever. Uh, this didn't really matter at all. I can put it on anything. To me, it looked exactly the same, uh, performed exactly the same. I didn't see any difference. So those are the settings that actually worked for me. So hopefully it works for you as well. And uh, yeah, have a good one.